Hey guys, in this video we want to show the state of the AVL tree after inserting the value 24. So here I have a case for inserting a value into the tree. It's the left right case, also known as LR. And it says if our AVL tree is unbalanced and it's in this type of state here, then we can do what's called a left rotation to get it into this state. And then we can do a right rotation to get it into a balanced state here. So below here I have the AVL tree. And we want to insert the value 24, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's remember that the AVL tree is just a binary search tree that's self-balancing. So to put 24 in here, we need to go to the left of 57. We need to go to the right of 17 and to the left of 38. So now we insert our value 24 here. Now we need to check our balance factor. So our balance factor is the height of the left side minus the height of the right side or the height of the right side minus the height of the left side, depending on um, whichever balance factor you're using, um, whatever uh, equation you're using. So left side minus the right side is what I'm gonna use. And left, the height of the left is one, two, three for this note. So we can put three here minus the height of the right, which is one. So we get a balance factor of two. Now an AVL tree is only balanced if the balance factor is negative one, zero, or one. So it's not, it's two. So it tells us that our AVL tree is not balanced. So in this case, we need to do what's called a left-right rotation. And so we can imagine that our 57 is the number five. We can imagine that the number 17 is our number three. And we can imagine that the number 38 is our number four here. And of course, um, the right side of 57 or 5 is a so that would be our 73 here the left side of 3 or 17 is b so that would be our 5 down here and then um, our 4 which is our 38 will have a c which would be our 24 and d which is nothing or null okay so let's go ahead and do this left right rotation So now again, 57 is our five, so we can make, we can put 57 here. And then four, well that was our 38. So we could put 38 here. Then we had three, let's see, three was 17. And now let's see, Five, we had A, so A was 73 here. Let's see, four, we have D, so D was nothing. So I don't have to put anything there. And then three um, has B and C. So let's see, B was our five. And C was our 24. Okay, so now I have to do one more rotation. And let's see. Our 4 is our 38 here. So we can put 38. Our 3 is 17. So we can put 3 here. Our 5 is 57. And now what was on the five was A. A was 73. So we can, oops, I didn't want to do that there. So we could put our 73 here. And then D will also go to five. So our D was on our four there, and there's nothing there. So nothing goes on um, that part. Three has C. So C was 24. And then three also had B, and our B was five. So now our tree is balanced. And we can check the uh, balance factor here. So let's count, one, two, one, two. So two minus two is zero, 
and I can just see that it's uh, leveled here. So um, usually you would want to go through and count each balance factor for each node. You know, let's go ahead and do that. So here we have one, two. So two minus one, two. So that equals zero. This has one, one. So that's one minus one. So equals zero. This doesn't have any children. So it's zero. This doesn't have any children. So it's zero. This um, has nothing over here. So that's zero and one over here minus one. So we get negative one. That's still balanced. And then 73 doesn't have any children. So it's zero. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave likes, comments, questions. Please subscribe. And don't forget to become a supporter on Patreon. I'll see you guys all in the next video.